Megan panics. Harry's seven confessions that he wants to end everything with Megan goes viral on air. Hello, Truth Seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we reveal the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around because we have some surprising revelations that'll make you question the fairy tales told by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In a shocking turn of events, it seems the cracks in the Sussexes' seemingly perfect lives are widening and the truth is emerging. Today, more than ever, we delve into seven confessions from Prince Harry himself that suggest he's about to end it all with Meghan. Yeah, you heard that right. Harry regrets marrying a person, and these revelations are being widely spread online. Buckle up as we unpack the drama that's unfolding in 2023 for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Before we move on to any other details, I would like to thank you all for your immense love and support, and in case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So let's get started. This year started off impressively for Prince Harry as his memoir Spare became the best-selling non-fiction book of all time. But little did we know that this tale of life in and out of the royal family would cause even bigger rifts between Harry and his blue-blooded family. The public couldn't help but be shocked by the intimate details that Harry shared, from his numb appendages to revealing private conversations with the Queen. Critics blasted him for airing the royal family's dirty laundry and criticized his apparent disdain for his brother, Prince William. The memoir, although a commercial success, ignited tensions within the royal family over achieving financial independence. After stepping back from royal duties, Meghan and Harry signed a $25 million deal with Spotify for the Archwell Audio podcast. However, the fairy tale quickly unraveled when they agreed to part ways with the platform. In June, the fallout even gave them the asterisk, in the crusher from Spotify's top executive, Bill Simmons. The couple's efforts to find a new path away from the royal family have faced constant scrutiny and criticism, with drama following them wherever they go. One of the biggest bombshells of the year came with the release of the book Endgame. They alleged comments about baby's Archie's skin color and who did it. The revelation caused a significant rift between the Sussexes and other members of the royal family, leading to their exclusion from a high society wedding. The film surrounding Endgame has sparked debates about the couple's participation, as well as their image in the media. The Duke and Duchess found themselves on the receiving end of satirical descriptions as the Family Guy episode was finding out about their decision to step down as working royals. The animated show depicted them sitting by a pool receiving millions from Netflix, mocking their lucrative contracts in the entertainment industry. South Park also joined the debate, satirizing the couple's need for privacy amidst promotional activities, and appeared in a documentary in May. Meghan and Harry claim to have been involved in a chase almost dire with paparazzi, citing concerns for their safety. The incident has raised eyebrows with conflicting accounts from others involved and drawn comparisons to Princess Diana's tragic encounter with the paparazzi, as if that weren't enough. The couple's friendship with Oprah Winfrey seemed to cool down when they did not publicly wish her a happy birthday. This added yet another layer to the already complicated dynamic between the Sussexes and the financially influential media figure. The pair faced a setback when their actorial organization recorded a significant drop in donations leading to a loss of revenue in 2022. Despite reassurances that this is a part of a long-term financial plan, the decline raises questions about the sustainability of their philanthropic efforts. In a surprising turn of events, Megan has returned to filming commercials for a coffee brand that she is invested in, while some people find it cute and welcome her back to the screen. Others criticize the fake nature of the video and question the authenticity of Megan's efforts. The year ended with a scathing article by a Hollywood reporter calling Harry and Meghan the biggest losers of 2023. The article considered them failures for fleeing a life of public service to exploit their status as royals and supposedly as celebrities with biographical quotes and their terrible Netflix documentary podcast. In the words of Taylor Swift's anti-hero hit, it's time for Harry and Meghan to look in the mirror and say, it's me. Hello. I'm the problem, I'm here. The Hollywood bubble they created seems about to burst, and as South Park aptly put it, the pin may be about to burst. So, what do you think about this news? Please share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. But until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exhibitions. It's on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest information from the royal world. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again with some more juicy royal news.